Hey gang, how you doing? Jamie, thanks for coming to Joplin. Hey. Milana, good to see you. Good to see you. Randy, what have you been up to? Just working. Just working. <laughs> hey, I got to tell you, we are really happy that you guys took time out of your very busy schedule, from what I know, uh, to come down here and participate in the, the filming for the GBATS uh, 2020. So it means a lot that you came down here and... I know these uh, trucks have took a lot of time and effort to get looking this way, or do they stay this way every day? Not every day. Not every day. No, <laughs> no, not every day. But we're excited, you know, several of us around here are familiar with y'all because, you know, we're from the Midwest, but we got people watching tonight from East Coast, West Coast, Canada, all over, and they don't get to see your stuff all the time like we do. You're going to tell us about Devilish Ways, your newest right. build, right. and Never Satisfied, which we're familiar with this old girl. She's been featured in a magazine or two, yeah. and we've bumped into you all several times out on the show circuit, uh, standing tall and looking good. But before we do that, Jamie, I know you guys run a very successful business up in Springfield. Uh, j and l contracting and do some trucking so kind of tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing up there some of your products and services and if you have any cool plans for the future that you want to share now's your time <laughs> uh, the future is going to be more like more the same right uh, don't don't have immediate plans of growing at all mm -hmm. just trying to keep going what we got going mm -hmm. um, we do uh, excavating mm -hmm. in probably about four or five Midwest states. Gotcha. Um, we do trucking in all 48, mm -hmm. primary haul, specialized, oversized, dimensional stuff, okay. heavy, mm -hmm. heavy, heavy. We have a pretty large dump truck fleet. Mm -hmm. So in Springfield, if you're up there and you see a red, shiny red dump truck, it's probably ours. That whole Springfield Branson area is a pretty thriving dump truck uh, business is. center. It is. Yeah. Uh, we get down to Joplin and work a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, we have an office in St. Louis. We do heavy hauling up there every day and mm -hmm. do a lot of dedicated work up there. Right. So we run about 140 employees and just mm -hmm. keep very busy. Yeah, you guys very have active. seen a lot of growth in the last five, eight years. Yes, we have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. JNL's been in business. This is our 15th year this yeah. year, 2020. Yep. Yeah. And we went from, you know, a dump truck and a backhoe to <laughs> 200 pieces of yellow iron and 70 trucks and dump trucks so we keep pretty busy a lot of fire a lot of irons in the fire and a few headaches along the way i'm sure that's, but that's right. really proud to see the growth up there i gotta you know kind of confess a little how we met is it was probably gbats seven eight years ago yep and you had started participating we kind of got together through a mutual friend of ours uh, mike quick over at fabic cat yep and I, I can remember that first year i think you guys came over with three trucks and all parked together and you must have got the show bug because at that time they were nice, nice trucks, but they weren't what we see at JNL today. So, did you grow up in trucking, or you just kind of got exposed to it through the construction side? How? Well, we have a construction company that's been in business 40 years. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when I was in college, I basically ran a hotshot truck. I see. And work, we worked in uh, Alabama, South Texas. We did a lot of work in Tunica, Mississippi, at the uh -huh. casinos. Uh -huh. So I'd go to college on Monday and Tuesday, get in the hot shot truck and take off and go to all these job sites. Right. I did that for all through college. Uh -huh. And then after that, I got into excavating because uh -huh. I love equipment. Right. And it just blossomed from there. Uh -huh. I got one little boy to move my own equipment uh -huh. and it just, I started getting calls. It seems like when all of us get a little bit, a little bit of that diesel fuel in our blood, we can't yeah. shake it. From that point on, that's kind of what we do. Yeah. <laughs> I've always been an equipment operator, more than a trucker, mm -hmm. but I love trucks. Oh, I, yeah. I always have, and uh, you know that G Bats I think was the one that uh, Joplin Peter built, built that Australian truck they had here. That's true. Yep. And that truck really, I really liked it, and that's when we built the Contender. Uh huh. Because after that truck, we decided to build the Contender, and that was. I oh, see. Well, guys, I haven't really seen Devilish Ways, so we're going to have you tell me about that. And it's going to be natural reaction because this is a first for me. So before we do that, do you want to escape here and go take a break or you yeah. want to stay and talk trucks? Oh, I'll let you guys <laughs> talk trucks. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. So Devilish Ways, tell us, what year is the KW? 2019. 2019. Is it a glider or is it a mission truck? It's an emission truck. Right on. Well, take us through it. Give us the specs, wheelbase, every, everything you know. Everything. <laughs> well, it's got an X-15 Cummins in it. Uh -huh. It's a 13-speed automatic. Mm -hmm. so, so it's like an auto shift or an ultra shift? Yes. Okay. 295 wheelbase, uh -huh. 370s in the rear. I got to tell you, aero cabs are cool. I mean, when, from a driver's perspective, I really love them. But when you see the traditional uh, separate cab and sleeper, the flat windshields, yep. I mean, that's old school KW cool. Every time you do one for a customer, they say, why didn't I do that 10 years ago? Yep. 
Uh, it's exactly. just it's a total game changer as that far extra as four or five inches really gives you a lot of room. everyday life is uh, much better with that uh, big opening and with no cab lights and it's just streamlined it's got a real hot rod stance to it mm -hmm. well done by you guys it started out as a build for an actual customer mm -hmm. and we ended up buying it from him but mm -hmm. they repainted repainted the viper red and they put the orange and the gray stripes mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. so yeah everything on the truck's hand painted um, well and under the hood looks as good as the rest of the truck you got a full stainless firewall Yes, All sir. of your piping's been plated, it looks like. Stainless firewall cover, we made it there mm -hmm. at a friend's, friend's shop there in Springfield. Mm -hmm. and got it put on, mm -hmm. uh, pulled the motor, painted it like our normal Yep. Normal oh, yeah. Deal. yeah. We designed the firewall cover and built that ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, that is so gorgeous. You don't see too many Kenmore's firewall covers. Correct. Yet. But he's, yeah. I had him do his little small touches and pinstripe, you know, I mean, the back side of the caliper's done, you can't see it, uh -huh. but I know it's there. Yep. Yeah, that's so, hinging to detail. I really like the pinstripe there. Got, got the old flat glass school school bus windows uh -huh. upside down. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, painted floor, painted dash. He did all the artwork there mm -hmm. on the floor too. Mm -hmm. and it's but, pretty funny at a show when the guys walk up to it and they open the door and they see the auto shift. Uh -huh. They're half of them are just done with it. Uh -huh. yeah. They don't uh -huh. want to look at it anymore. Yeah, you they know, if they drove going. it for an hour and a half, I yeah. guarantee you they'd be. That's oh, right. Yeah. That isn't that bad. This showed up, and when we was building it for the customer, I made mm -hmm. fun of him. But yeah. Now that we ended up with it, it ain't so bad. <laughs> right, right. So. That's how those things go. Yeah. Well, coming on around here, all custom deck plate, yeah, recessed all, airline box. The air box, I, we use, we got to have five holes mm -hmm. for the hydraulics. So I mm -hmm. just got that from you and flipped mm -hmm. it around. Sure. We drilled our own holes. Right. Uh, toolbox made locally mm -hmm. in Springfield. Mm -hmm. That's a design we came up with. The, the, hose, the hose loop. Thing. Mm -hmm. We we I, I came up with that, I don't know, probably about 10 years ago. and. It works really good for our hydraulic. Lines. Oh, it's super sharp. Yeah, it yeah. takes something significant to hold those yeah. heavy hydraulic hoses. Yeah. You guys squirted the frame, duct plate, everything. Everything, man. It's got a killer everything. gloss to it. Everything. I like the fact that you didn't chrome nut cover everything out. I mean, it yeah. almost looks cleaner being all red. Yeah, it. I'm not. I'm not big on the nut covers. Uh huh. I mean. For me, anything, shave the bolts, mm -hmm. you know, just to make everything clean. Mm -hmm. And this truck was designed totally by Randy. Mm -hmm. He pretty much had total freedom on this one, so this yeah. was all his. Baby. You think he'll ever get the hang of it? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the next maybe, one, huh? Maybe the next one. <laughs> I had to say no on a few things, but <laughs> right. hey, not much. Any trucker I know would be proud to ride around in this, this KW, man. It is super sharp. Well done. So, mm -hmm. basically, we did stainless lines everywhere we could do stainless lines. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of a clean, simple, mm -hmm. workable mm -hmm. truck that you know you're not you're not worried to get in it and drive it. Actually, you gotcha. know, Actually, go enjoy it. And we do pull detaches, so we got the pad there for the arm, half inch plate. Oh man, yeah, yeah. So and won. then this is all welded and yeah. hand fabricated. That's cool. Everything's yeah. welded together. Yeah. We do all that in house. Yep. So sharp work, guys. Yeah. Looks good. Thank you. Uh, fenders are they Hogue built? Yes. Yep. Like the wide straps, I mean, they may be factory, but they still look cool. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. Oh, yeah. Three-tone dash, all painted to match the outside. The Larson Group, we use their paint shop facilities. Mm -hmm. They help us a lot. Mm -hmm. We're friends with them. Yep, they got a good reputation they for running good. some fine body shops. Yep, they do a good job, Springfield mm -hmm. and Joplin, so mm -hmm. we, they help us a lot. Well, guys, this wasn't even supposed to be our main feature, and now I feel like we need to cover it again in the future. I mean, you got a whole story here. Yeah. 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 Well, I know, Randy, uh, Jamie said you designed this truck, and I mean, brother, you nailed it. Thank you. I, 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 wouldn't change, I wouldn't change a thing, to be honest with you. Thank you. I wouldn't even change the auto shift. <laughs> Let's go on over here, and this is the one that uh, we ask you to bring down, and when I called you, you said, hey, I can bring two if you need me to. So the more, the merrier. Uh, this one, like I said, it's been around a while. Did you guys build it two and a half, three years ago? No, actually uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> I make that mistake all the time. It's been long. <laughs> yep, one about every show circuit you could win with it. Um, it was my very first ever sleeper truck. Okay. That I ever bought. Okay. And uh, we ran it for almost 600,000 miles. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, what's the total miles on it today? Six. Six. Six twenty. Six twenty. Six thirty. Yep. So I can remember the first time I saw it, I think may have been Louisville instead of G Bats, because you know Louisville's every March, we're always in the fall. Yep. But I mean there is there is no detail left unturned. 
I mean, the inside of the sleeper looks as good as the outside of the hood, looks as good as the dash, looks as good as the rear bumper. I mean, you guys, from the sound system to every tiny detail, you, you rocked it out of the park. Yeah, we had about, oh shoot, there wasn't one shop that did it all. There right. was probably 20 shops. Yes, yeah, you know. that works out really well. Now, what year is uh, Never Satisfied? No, wait. Oh wait, yep. is it Cat Power? No, it's Cummins. It's, an, it's a Cummins ISX, ISX as well? Yep. ISX, yes. 18 speed? Yep. Okay. Um, it was a factory uh, th heavy haul. I see. This was built, it actually was one I, I bought it used with about 80,000 miles on it. Mm -hmm. um, it was built, the guy owned it and hauled military stuff, mm -hmm. everything, so. I really like, I mean, we'll just start talking about some of the, the really cool details. I mean, the Kenworth Keyhole logo grill, you know, matches the air cleaners. I mean, that's always a winning look. Yeah. The American Eagle, you don't see many of them with the rounded outside corner. Those are pretty unique, and it really flows with that Kenworth hood nicely. Yep, and that was the Jones hood that we bought from you. Yep, painted visor instead of stainless, really works nice. With red, you know, some people can say, well, all you see is red show trucks, but it don't matter. Red makes you come over and want to take a look. We, it it we pulls you we over. We were red in the very, when we first heard showing that a red truck will never win anything. Uh -huh. So you were going to prove so them wrong. Proved them wrong. <laughs> yeah, you right. did indeed. It's, it's, it's one everything is a bobtail. It's one everything is a combo. Uh huh. So we were told a detach couldn't win. Mm -hmm. So we've done we everything. Proved that wrong. We pulled that, you know, we've done it, we've done very well. Right. You did custom battery and toolbox covers, aluminum, then painted them to match, painted tanks. Yep. Everything, the, the cab and the sleeper panels, yep. uh, clear through the cab rack. Bruner's yep. Manufacturing here, a local Joplin company, mm -hmm. built a lot of that for me. Mm -hmm. We'll tip the hood here in a bit and look at the, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking it don't ride this low every day. No. Uh, it may have airbags on the front. Yeah. This is a cool feature. It goes back to that attention to detail. I mean, you got the air cleaner panels, which is A-OK, -okay, but you even took the stripes right through them. Custom billet step plates, yep. they rock. Strapless breathers. I mean, there's stuff you don't notice at first glance. Yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole truck's just, uh, it flows all the way through it. Oh, yeah. You know, Davis Brothers in Indiana, they did mm -hmm. the interior. Mm -hmm. That's the part that I took it to them and they did that, the interior. Mm -hmm. And O'Brien had to search the country to find red carpet. Yeah. The interior is amongst the finest I've ever seen. And, uh, I'm like you guys, I've seen a lot of trucks, but this one will not be outdone on the interior. Yep. And it's got, how many watts of stereo is it having it? About 7,500. <laughs> it, 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 it pounds it, it does great. Yep. I, I, I suppose it would at 7,500. Yep. You can outpower concerts, yeah. <laughs> sound systems. We, we, we went to truck shows and shut the, shut the <laughs> DJ down because, you know, he wasn't playing the right stuff. So. Well, Davis Brothers is noted for doing some, some high-end sound systems, and this one's a... Uh, no exception. It's incredible. Did. Super cool. Yeah, Bruner, we sell their line of cab racks and whatnot, and uh, they, do, they do a good job. It's cool to deal with Joplin companies. You know, everybody likes Hometown Proud. Yeah. We had to come up with these custom step brackets here, mm -hmm. which is kind of the Kenworth logo. Oh, yeah. To get up there, because we do have to get up on that frame rail, get in the headache rack. So. Mm -hmm. Extra long fifth wheel slide yep. in your, your line of work. We custom built that. And mm -hmm. I, I forgot how many hours of sanding it is to get it smooth mm -hmm. like that. But, yeah. Now these fenders, did you buy them this long or did you have to add on to the they, bottom? They were about that long. They're okay. badass customs yeah. in Indiana. That's, yeah, they came together real nice. Yep. People don't realize how much layout time is right here it in these is. six fenders. And this truck does work. Mm -hmm. I and mean, it pulled a super load this year. Mm -hmm. Wow. It grows to 260,000 load from Ohio to... Yeah. I mean, when uh, we Vegas. were showing it, we had aluminum fifth wheel plate. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. This one, so. Yeah, here's your evidence, folks, right yeah. here. Yeah, it does, it does work. <laughs> and there's, there's even smudge marks in the kickstand. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey. yeah. yeah. Is this another? That's a one inch thick plate right oh, there. Oh, wow. Yep. And that, that's one inch thick. Mm -hmm. And it just, uh, you know, we added that pad after we started quit showing it. Mm hmm. You know? The billet work is just amazing. All 100% yep. yeah, custom. Davis is, uh, come up with that mm -hmm. brothers and put that on their surprises yeah it has their logo right here yeah yeah and then never satisfied in there uh-huh hard to see it's just kind of it's just a, a, a beautiful piece that is world class yeah yep. that looks phenomenal and then spencer the handwork guy he painted never satisfied on the back of it for us mm -hmm. so we got a little bit of his work in here mm -hmm. so yeah well let's let's tip the hood and we'll take a look under there okay. I'll get the pipe. you say when randy Well, yeah, as mentioned, you got the airbag on the front suspension, the kit there, and then also the flip bumper. Those are must-haves for any show truck these days. Yes. Yeah, you can put that bumper down 
on the ground in the grass like we're doing now well when you're when you're getting asked to pull out into the field you know in, in mm -hmm. pictures and videos it's always great to have a foot bumper <laughs> if i remember right when the bumper was up you've got lights all across the bottom of it too that's yep. a that's a cool uh cool feature for sure well everything's totally dialed in under here i mean painted fan shroud it's all body work smooth uh stripes on the inside of the hood as well as the outside that's a killer effect there 300 hours of hand sanding inside that hood i bet before they ever shot primer see it's things like that uh, uh, nobody i mean myself you unless you know that you don't really dwell on that you think ah oh, they spent a weekend there painting the inside of that hood well under the hood it's amazing. Outside is incredible, but the best part is yet to come. Let's jump up in here and you can show us the inside. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I've seen this truck 10 times, but just wow. It's, 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 it's bright driving yeah. it down the road. Oh, it's not that. I mean, it's like it's just, it's every show. single thing was analyzed, styled, and then that, that thought was put into motion. I'm like, even custom carpet. <laughs> To match the stripe pattern, I mean, where do you see that? Yep. Nowhere. And I will give credit to Brian Davis, and mm -hmm. Kevin Johnson. They, mm -hmm. they des I give them open, not open checkbook, open reins to to, to, to surprise me. Well, the design and, is a winner. And they they did that. Yeah. Um, yeah. The color combination, red button tuck on white leather. Uh, this the halo effect, the LED halos on the sound system. I've seen them on the doors too. Uh, this thing's as high impact at night as it is in the daytime yes it's just a it's just it's a work of art yeah you know custom overhead console and it sounds as good as it looks so oh yeah it's uh we were talking earlier about all the body work on the bottom side of the hood i mean you guys sanded all the texture out of all your interior plastic too it uh it looks phenomenal i mean it's 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 flawless guys yep. thank you thank you you yep. bet it's done it's done well everywhere it's ever been uh-huh you know these are our Rockwood door sill plates, aren't they? Um, I think so. I think those were custom made by they? Yeah. Uh, a shop in Indiana. I got you. They, they look sharp. It's like chromed, chromed billet. Yep. He made matching pedals, but we took them off them for working. working it. Yep. Yep. So there's matching pedals. and. There's another tidbit. There's your fact. Pedals are gone because we're a working truck. Yeah. <laughs> exactly right. Dustin's, Dustin's <laughs> took this thing several loads since we've had it back off the, you know, it's truck can only show for so long and then you got to put it back to work or sell it or this truck bleeds jnl yes everybody knows it yeah I, you know i'll probably never end up selling it unless somebody just offered it to me but yeah it's just you know you don't get more patriotic than this truck no and you know, these are all of our company colors that's what we, we you know phenomenal job guys it's love a, it yeah we, we love it it's a great truck jamie never satisfied is a heck of a truck man you guys the whole crew hats off man you guys knocked it out of the park on this one thank you yep. well you know before we go j and l j and l contracting is it jamie and what's the j and l stand for well the j is my son jack uh-huh who's a freshman in college i see and the l is my daughter lauren who's a junior in high school so it's after the kids it is yep, yep. there's an interesting factoid that yep. i didn't even know yep we're we have a very big family business uh-huh so Yep, I got my cousins, my brother-in-law. I got a lot of people in the mm -hmm. business. So, yep. yeah. I find uh, we've done a lot of these show truck walk-arounds for tonight, and that pretty much rings true at every one of them. It's uh, the whole family's invested in the company. Uh, everybody's pulling a certain amount of the weight, and, you know, that's a big key to success is that family unit uh, behind you and having your back when you can't uh, right. carry the whole load. So, well, man, we appreciate your friendship, your business uh, through the years. Really appreciate you taking part tonight, and uh, we'll see you at the next G-Bats. All right. All right, man. Thank you. You bet. Take care. Yep. All right, gang, we're gonna do a personality profile here on Mr. Jamie Williams. Jamie, first thing that pops in your mind, what's your favorite NFL team? Chiefs. What's your favorite brand of pickup truck? Chevrolet. Favorite classic rock band? ACDC. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. What's your favorite news channel on TV? There isn't one. <laughs> Agreed. What's your favorite brand of farm tractor? Case H. Apple pie or homemade ice cream, what's your best choice? Apple pie. <laughs> and the big one, what's your favorite chrome shop? Hmm. The Petro. Did he just say what I thought he said?
<laughs> All right, take two. And Mr. Jamie, your favorite chrome shop? Four States Trucks. <laughs> and that's more like it. Ha, ha, ha.